Okay, YouTube, you may ask uh, why I have my 25,000 pound Sherpa winch apart. And I'll tell you, uh, long story short, it broke. And the reason why is probably more my fault than anything else. Uh, if you look at my last video about a uh, recovery on a 20% uh, graded road at night in a snowstorm, uh, as I was recovering <clears throat> out of my truck, which is about, I'd say, 10,000 pound-ish, I guess, with everything else, with everything I have on it, the winch and uh, new tires, etc. So, as I'm going up the, uh, or I had to recover myself upwards out of a, uh, uh, a tree line, because I couldn't move backwards so I had to move upwards and then go backwards so basically as I was moving upwards uh, I was doing this by myself I didn't have anybody to help my daughter ditched me um, saying that jokingly she really didn't ditch me she asked me if I was all right before she could walk up the hill to the house and I said that was fine uh, so anyways uh, as I was recovering I had to use the remote while I sat inside the vehicle to go uh, upwards on the hill so I could get back on the road. In any event, as I did that, the cable here bunched up to a point where it stressed against those rollers that you see there, or the uh, cross member bars that you see uh, right here and right here. And it caused, it caused it to stress, and here's the result. This is uh, one of the feet of the winches, of the winch, okay? So basically the cross member bar goes into these holes right here, and it's stressed up against there, the, the cable, and it caused the, the break right there. So my friends at Sherpa Winch, uh, they were really... I was really upset about it because I really didn't know like the structure of the winch, you know, what was, uh, how, how it was, uh, assembled, etc. So I thought that the entire drive side needed to be replaced. Well, I was wrong. And they basically shipped me these new feet, one for each side. The other side's actually okay. The gear drive, the gear drive side, that side's fine. It didn't, it came, came through it with no problem. But they shipped me the, these and uh, two cross bars right there for $35 from Australia. And I'll tell you, I can't be more pleased with their service, uh, you know, especially given that it was my screw up. Uh, I should be more careful in doing that. I do know better. I've had a winch since the 80s and I've recovered plenty of things. But when you're in the middle of a snowstorm, uh, and it's raging out there, windy, and it's night, it's cold, you know, things happen. Uh, I'll be more careful next time for sure. So what I'm doing is I, uh, I'm putting it back together. I put the, uh, the foot on the drive side here, and it's very easy to do, really. It's only three bolts that hold this together. You basically take the crossbar bolts off. Of each side and that kind of holds the winch together and here's where the winch bolts down right here so basically you have these four points that hold the winch together so you take these two off and the winch just basically comes apart so then um, you have a little screw right here on the uh, the drive side I mean yeah the drive side and then you have um, I'll try and do this one, one hand here. You have these two bolts right here. And these bolts go all the way through to the foot onto this, you know, into, into, uh, some threaded holes right here. And then once you take these off, they come off very easy with, a, I did an adjustable wrench. Then this, uh, foot comes right off. All right, so... You got to make sure uh, when it comes off that uh, you know you want to check your gaskets. There's two 
there's like kind of a a retainer gasket or retainer ring here for lack of a better word I don't know if it's a gasket but it's plastic and then you have a gasket here for when the uh, the uh, cable uh, housing turns there so basically now I'm in the process of putting it back together uh, and they recommend I looked at a video they recommend that you uh, put the cable onto the drive side instead of doing it from the gear side all right it makes it much easier and you have um this this um rod right here that goes into your drive side and i'll re-grease that and then i'll put the uh the cable mechanism on top and then the gear, you kind of kind of jiggle it a little bit. I got to wait for my son actually, uh, because he has to kind of help hold the drive side in place while I jiggle this in place into the uh, to the gear hole right here. So that's uh, the next step, and then it'll be pretty much ready. I just put the uh, screws on the other side and. Uh, be pretty much ready but one thing I wanted to point out and I highly recommend this to to everybody when they're installing a winch is put a quick disconnect this thing saved me a ton of time uh, disassembling or removing the winch from the truck so basically I just had to unconnect this and leave the wires that are already uh, connected to the uh, mounting bus connected and I basically could just leave it until it's got a cover on it. It looks, looks exactly like this side, except I have a rubber cover on it. And I can just do my winch as I feel uh, necessary, not on any time kind of schedule. And when I'm ready, I just reconnect it. I bolt it down and reconnect it. It's fairly simple. So always uh, do a disconnect. I didn't do that on the blazer. Um... I didn't really think about it, uh, but then I started watching some recovery videos and some people had it. So I thought, hey, let me just try for this and it actually paid off in a big way, especially with it being cold here in Vermont. Uh, you know, we're, right now it's kind of warm for January, so it's like in the 20s, late high 20s. Uh, this time last January, I think it was you know, it was very, pretty close to this time last year. It was below zero uh, quite quite a few days in January. So I'm very lucky. In fact, the day that I uh, unbolted this winch from the, from the bumper, it was actually 50 degrees. So I took advantage of that really quick because you're not going to have many days like this. So in any event, uh, I'm going to try and get this together and put it back in the truck before it snows again. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, YouTube, I uh, finished up the uh, winch and uh, put it back on last night. Uh, you can see it right there. It wasn't really any kind of eventful thing, so I wanted to... You know spare you the details the only thing that i'm going to need to redo when uh the spring comes or maybe if i have a uh a nice day here in vermont it's uh snowing right now uh i have to t to rewrap the uh the line i wrapped it but it's still not the way i want to i didn't have enough tension on it uh and it's it's just not uh, the right way it needs to be you know untangled which for the most part it is but the tension isn't enough so I'm gonna have to do probably put it on an incline and put the blazer downhill attach the uh, hook to it and and uh, wrap it that way because uh, that'll keep the tension on it and uh, it'll keep the winch nice and tight so that when I do use it for recovery I don't have to worry about it pushing up against those cross member bars anymore so in any event uh short little video to show you what i had to do and uh that's about it i hope you like it 
and uh, keep prepping as always. Vermont Prepper out. Take